Hey guys, I am going to make some ginger molasses cookies. Uh, let me pick up Miss Bella. I'm adapting a recipe from Dr. Judy Morgan's Yin and Yang cookbook. Um, and instead of butter, because I don't do butter for Bella, I'm going to be doing coconut oil. And instead of ginger powder, I'm doing fresh ginger because fresh is best. So we'll see how these ginger cookies turn out. Okay, so I really wasn't going to do a video, but Miss Bella insisted that we do a video because it's cookies for her. So what I have here is um, two and a quarter cups of oat flour. If you make, if you buy oat flour, you really need to keep it in the freezer because otherwise it can go rancid. And also in here is some cinnamon. And in here I have uh, one egg, a quarter cup of molasses, and um, what else is in here? Oh, the ginger. Uh, Dr. Morgan used powdered ginger, but you know, fresh is best. It really is. And ginger is, is a medicinal, um, is it a vegetable or an herb? But it's, it's medicinal because it it's, reduces inflammation. So it's really great. Um, and it smells so wonderful. You want to smell it, Miss Bella? You smell. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna, okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the dry ingredients into the wet. Normally you're supposed to put all the wet in first, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't like following rules. So I'm gonna go ahead, it's kind of hard with Miss Bella here, but I'm gonna put in the, um, the flour. I'm glad to get, you, get rid of this flour because I don't use it a lot. And now I'm gonna put in the coconut oil and it's the Costco brand. Um, my son is videoing and oh, he's, what is he looking at me? Or is he looking hopefully at the coconut oil? Not me. Yeah, I can see my hands in it. And then I'm going to mix this together, but I really need to use a spatula. So hold on. And I'm really excited about trying this recipe because it has the ginger in it. And that's so uh, good for the doggies and for the humans. Because most of my recipes, um, I put the, the sardine in it, or what else do I do? I do a pumpkin, but I haven't done ginger. And like I said, I wanted to get rid of um, this flour. So it's mixing up really nicely. I actually thought that three quarters of a cup of oil was quite a bit of oil, or quite a bit of butter if you wanted to use that. And if you want to use butter, as the recipe says, I would strongly suggest that you get grass-fed butter. Uh, you can get it at Costco. They sell it, um, what's the brand, Michael? Of the, oh, Kerrygold. And also Kirkland now has a grass-fed butter from New Zealand, which I just bought. It's in my freezer now, so I need to try it out. But I, I do the coconut oil. You can either do the Kirkland. And what I just started uh, using on Bella is an MC3 uh, oil. And this is by Kin and Kind that Dr. Morgan does sell. You can also buy it on Amazon. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop these on uh, parchment paper and I'll let you know how it goes. So I actually think this uh, dough is a little too wet. Like I said, I thought the recipe had too much oil. Um, next time I would ad adapt that as well. So I'm going to sit this in the refrigerator for like 35 to 45 minutes and then I'll put it onto the lined a cookie sheet and we'll bake this up for Miss Bella. What you got there? You got some coconut oil? Get the flip side. No need to wash the spoon. Okay, say thank you. I wanna make a correction. It's not oat flour. Oat flour is what I always use when I make my cookies. It's almond flour. So it's almond flour, two and a quarter cups of almond flour. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put those cookies on the cookie sheet. Well, it made 24 cookies. So now let's see if they're good. I'm gonna taste it myself first. Mmm. 
They are surprisingly very good. Let me get Bella here to see what she thinks. Bella, you want a little cookie? Sit. Stay. What you think? Is it Miss Bella approved? I think it is.